Today is Monday, April 8th. We leave for NARBC Dallas, the first show in Dallas. It used to be formerly Arlington. We leave on Thursday morning early. So I've got a little less than three days. It is currently, what time is it? A little after 10 in the morning, um, on Monday morning. And so we're getting things ready to go. Um, I've kind of shown bits and pieces of different trade shows that we do. Uh, but I've never like compiled one whole video of prep all the way to uh, working the trade show and the return journey home. So this might be a little bit longer video, but I thought it would be fun to see just like from beginning to end the process of us getting ready. Usually I wait until the week of a show to start roasting the coffee for that show. So that's what I'm doing now. So these are the first batches of coffee that we're going to be taking to the show. So it'll be as fresh as possible. Um, and I'll take you along the process from roasting the coffee to bagging it up for the show, prepping the truck to get ready to go. And then all the way front to through the travel and the trade show itself. So hang out, hope you enjoy, come see us. I hope you see us at in ARBC Dallas if you're in the area, and if not, I hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about what it's like to be a coffee roaster and to prepare to do one of the largest trade shows in the country. So hang on, let's go. It is now, what's today? Wednesday? Wednesday, April 10th. Um, so we leave for Dallas tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We're trying, aiming for 6 a.m. Uh, so that means today is the last day to get things done uh, in preparation for the show. So we're pretty well on our way. Everything's been roasted. Of course, I did that Monday and Tuesday. Um, McKendrick is, the, the shop is in complete upheaval. Um, McKendrick is actively getting things into bins load and getting them ready to load into the van. I am finishing up uh, packaging all the coffee. Uh, so getting everything labeled, getting everything sealed, ground, boxed up and ready to go. And then here shortly we'll get ready to load the van. This is an interesting kind of like a first time thing for us because McKendrick actually isn't going to this show. He has a conflict and had to go. Um, to an event with the mentor program that he works with. And so uh, it's just gonna be myself and Corey going. And I think this is the first time, this is the first time that you haven't been to an NARBC show, right? Yeah. Dallas, yeah, he said yes, if you didn't hear that. Dallas last year, he flew and Corey and I drove, but he was at the show. Um, so, so this is gonna be inter in interesting to see how this goes with just two people uh, for this big of a show. But we're gonna give it a go. We're, so all this coffee here is coming to the show. Um, it's already ready to go. And I just have, I don't know, one or two more um, rounds of bagging to go to do before I'm, I'm finished up. So 
almost there this is the this is the hectic part this is the part that uh gets us all stressed out trying to make sure that we have everything packed so i'm gonna stop recording now and get back to work And with that, we are ready to go. The van's loaded, it's raining. It's 6.30 in the morning on Thursday. We're about to get in the van and head off to NRBC Dallas. And uh, so we'll show you some more of the setup and the teardown and the expo itself once we get there. So hold on, we got 17, 16, 17 hours to go. <laughs> It'll be a lot faster for you. But we're going to hit the road and we'll see you in Dallas. the next morning we ended up stopping in Tyler Texas just over the Louisiana border last night um, we're about an hour and a half outside of Dallas and we considered going back and uh, making the whole journey last night but the hotel room here was about a hundred dollars cheaper at night so you know an hour and a half is not too bad to go this morning but uh, yeah 15 hours 15 plus hours driving yesterday uh, pretty tired but it's just after seven. So we're gonna meet up for breakfast this morning and then hit the road again. We always aim to be at the NARBC shows around 10 a.m. That gives us some time to get everything set up so that the vendors can get coffee and then VIP comes through um, on Friday. So we're gonna head out here in a few minutes uh, for the rest of the journey and we'll take you along for the ride.
we made it. We made it. For for uh, a good old boy from the middle of nowhere, it got a little dicey there at the end. <laughs> but uh, but we made it. So um, we're gonna load in through that door right there. And uh, we're all the way actually on the other side of the building. Uh, since this is the first time being at the show, we didn't really know where to park or all that good stuff. So we'll figure it out better in the future. But we're gonna go ahead and get started setting up. It's right at 10 o'clock, so perfect timing. All right, we'll take you along, get set up. Here we go, start unloading. All the stuff that we put in has to come all out and uh, start making coffee.
Hey Corey, how'd your weekend go? Did you have fun? It's so much fun. <laughs> Are you ready to go home? <laughs> so ready to go home. <laughs> so, it is now. We had a great time. 3.30 on Sunday. What day is it Sunday? The show has 30 minutes left. And this is probably the first time all weekend that we've not had a single ticket. So this was an amazing show, um, but also we're very tired and uh, looking forward to the 17 hour drive that we get to start in less than 30 minutes. So <sighs> I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm, I'm out. My brain is all fuzzy. Drink some, I, I, coffee. drink some coffee. Yeah, there's my first cup of coffee for the day right over there. That's it. Well, so we got 30 minutes left and then we got to pack up and then we'll start headed home. And we're done. We're loaded up. I'm hot, sweaty. Ready to go home? Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Here's the 16 hours until we're back home. 9.43 a.m. You want to drive straight through? No, let's, let's do it. Good. Okay. All right. 9.43 a.m. Eastern. Okay. <laughs> we got this. We got this. We just pulled back up. Uh, just made it back from Dallas. Corey just left. Uh, got the van sitting out front. We'll uh, take care of that in the morning. It's now 7 o'clock in the afternoon. We got started at, I don't know, 8.30 this morning. Um, central time. So we were on the road about nine hours today. Um, it was a great weekend. Great meeting everyone. Really constructive weekend. Uh, both from a networking standpoint and from a sales standpoint. So we will definitely be back to Dallas in September. We've already signed up. So we will see you again in September. Uh, we're going to take a break. I'm going to go rest, try and recover, and then we'll be back at it, roasting some cold-blooded caffeine first thing tomorrow morning. We'll see you again next show. I think it's going to be the July Schomburg show, um, which is right outside of Chicago. Again, that's our first time doing that show. I'm considering signing up for that show. I haven't done it yet, um, but I'm thinking about doing that one since all the other shows have really been picking up lately. So I think we will see you in Schomburg. If not, we will be back in Dallas in September and then October back in Tinley Park. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and Cold Blood of Caffeine will catch you again at a show near you. Thank you.